So Samsung is finally rolling out a much-weighted feature, which has been available since 2016. However, Samsung gave this feature to a $350 Galaxy smartphone, but didn't bother to give it to its most expensive smartphones. Also, the S25 series could be the first flagship by Samsung we see in 2025 with much premium feel. The Samsung Galaxy is a big problem for Samsung. Samsung started the Galaxy branding in 2009 with a GT phone, but it was replaced by the premium Galaxy S series. Till 2024, the Galaxy umbrella got bigger and bigger, appearing not just as a brand, but as a whole ecosystem. Not just from low, mid-range, or high-end smartphones. Name any product from Samsung, and you will find a Galaxy tag on it. Samsung rebranded the Galaxy multiple times, but never changed it which is a huge problem for investors and users. Galaxy has so many lineups that users and investors want something more that portrays the premium brand image of the flagship devices. In a recent apology to investors, employees, and customers, Samsung is eager to rebuild its organizational culture. It looks like it is part of this rebuilding effort, Samsung finally dropping the Galaxy name after one and a half decades. Samsung will give a more premium name to its flagship devices from the Galaxy umbrella to give users a more premium brand value compared to other devices. And the S25 series could be the first of its kind. We have to wait till the launch to see what Samsung is really cooking. The Samsung S25 series is going to have the fastest processor, and your S25 experience is going to be even faster with seamless updates. No other Samsung phone has this feature except the A55. It is kind of annoying when an update comes. You can't do anything while your smartphone is updating while in a 55 updates are installed in the background. Although this feature has been out since 2016, why didn't Samsung include it in any of its previous flagships? First, this can be done with hardware tweaking rather than a software update, where there are two separate partitions, one handling your usage while the other handles the updates in background. Second, Samsung doesn't want to take any risk with these tweaks with flagship smartphones. Samsung gathered the data from the A55, making it even faster and better for the S25 series. As this feature can't be done with the software update, S25 users will have this exclusive feature compared to any other flagship, including the Z Fold 6. Speaking of Z Fold 6, Samsung is bringing two folds with a total of eight flagships in 2025. Find all the details about it here. This is TechTix, and I will see you there.